Hey team, I hope you're doing well. So I had a bunch of random diadem B-roll fishing tips that didn't make the cut for the video that I put out yesterday on how to make gill in the diadem. So I thought I'd just put out a quick random separate video. You might find some of the tips helpful if you are going into the diadem to fish. So if you haven't seen the original video on how to make gill in the diadem, I will link to that in the description. And team, don't forget, it's super easy to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thanks team, have a great day. And that's okay that I can't mooch that out because that cloud cutter is going to give me resin, which can sell for a decent amount. After this next hook, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on patience two with the hope that it helps me get larger fish. All right, so there's a few fish that are highly sought after in diadem. One are the goby masks, which are located at the calm fishing spot at 2931, which is where I'm at right now. And the other is the Roma Lasaurus, which is available at the blustery fishing spot at 30 by nine, which is where we'll go to next. The reason these two are sought after is because they give you 1,580 uh, Sky Builders points, which was a big deal when everyone was going after the title. But they also give you 40 scripts, which is very helpful as you try to buy items with scripts to sell. So these are amazing fish to go after and you really want to focus on the two spots that have those. And then obviously the legendary fish, which are weather dependent and at the various spots that you will be seeing in the guide, they give you 50 scripts. If you are outside of patience and you get the gob mask, which is a one exclamation point light tug, I recommend using double hook. If you are in patience, oh, I accidentally didn't hit the precision, damn it. Scratch all that I just said because I just totally screwed that up. Something I don't think people always consider when they're fishing and they're using double hook is that you are much less likely to land that double hook if you are in patience. And the reason is, is if you look at the patience descriptions, it reduces hook efficiency by 75% or 40%, depending on if you're in patience or patience too. If you use the precision or the powerful hook set, one of the abilities of that is it negates the inefficient hooking status. Double hook, however, does not have that. So if you're trying to double hook a bunch of fish and you're in patience and you keep missing and you're wondering why, that is probably it. So I try to time my double hooks as much as I can outside of patience. And personally, I'm not a gambler. I don't risk it. So if I'm using especially patience too, I won't risk the double hook. I know some people do. I'm not one of them. Um, if I'm in patience, one maybe because it's only 40% and I feel like my gear is good enough to overcome that most of the time. But wow, if I am in a patience too and I get that goby mask or something on the line, I will not risk that double hook at all. Like right now, I'm going to go after an extra couple of the sky fish. So I did identical cast. And since I'm not in patience when this hooks, I'm going to go ahead and use the double hook. I really do like using patience one here in diadem. It's just so cheap comparatively, even though it's uh, only a minute, you pay considerably less. It's less than half and 
it allows you to really time your cast quite well and make sure that you get that high quality cloud cutter so you can mooch it out. What I mean when I say time your cast is it's a lot easier to wait and not be in patience so you have a higher chance of getting a double hook. So like right now I'm at the end of this patience one. If I were to get a cloud cutter right now, it would be perfect because my patience would fall off. And then if I got the Ramalamasaurus, ding dong, whatever, I would be much more likely guaranteed in fact to get the double hook versus if I'm using patience two, then I am going to be out of luck so to speak, when uh, that special fish hooks and I'm at a 75% inefficient hooking status for trying double hook and patience too, and then I'm going to get frustrated and lose my patience because I'm not getting any of those double hooks. So those special fish are pretty rare. You want to make sure that you are in a position to catch them and double hook them when they do pop up. So the Umbra 11 has come back up. That's going to be Hover Worm. We're going to go ahead and change it back to that and see if we can catch any of the, oh, Dragon's Soul. All right, so we just mooched a Cloud Cutter, and we are outside of Patience, and it's been a bit and nothing is hooked, so I started the recording back up to see if we're going to get the special Ramalama Ding Dong fish. And it looks like we are. So go ahead and double hook those, especially if you're outside of patience. You cannot identical cast these because they come off of a mooch. But right there, you'll see I got two of them. And what that earned me is 40 scripts apiece which is a pretty good haul towards uh, buying things to sell for a good amount of gil. And trust me, I understand that materia is not worth what it used to be, especially the gathering materia. But another benefit here is that as you're doing all this fishing, your spirit bond is going to quickly cap out with a lot of your gear. So make sure you're constantly extracting materia. So to do that, you just go to the piece of gear you want. You can right click and hit extract materia. Make sure you don't hit retrieve materia. It's pretty easy to not miss as long as you're paying attention because it'll say, it'll talk to you about being extracted and spirit bond being reduced to 1%. That's how you know, just go slow and you'll be just fine. I know there's a, an alternate way to extract materia as well from your gear, um, but I just do it this way because you know, I'm careful with it. So it looks like a couple of those items are close. Looks like we've got a few more that are about to get ready to go, which is pretty darn cool. Just another way to make a few gilios on the side. Or, conversely, way to overmeld your gear, kind of like you see I've done uh, on a few pieces of gear here. <laughs> 